Welcome to Moon and Arrow. And clearly, I need some fashion help. And I came to the right place because they're all about sustainable fashion here. And that's so important because you'd be surprised how many clothing items and stuff like that winds up in landfills. Vintage is a really great uh, sustainable option that we offer here at Moon and Arrow. Um, every month we host and highlight of vintage sellers are local to Philly um, and it's a really great option for our customers. One, we're keeping these really great pieces out of the landfill and also giving our customers a unique uh, different like approach to their wardrobe, bringing vintage into your life. It's really great to start off with basics. So like tank tops and you know basic like jackets and yeah like little pieces like that, dresses for the summer. Um, <laughs> I like it. So besides vintage clothing, where you're wearing someone else's story and sharing that in a new way, I like that this jewelry right here is pretty unique. How is this sustainable? All of our metals are actually recycled metals. They're basically yeah. metals that someone didn't want anymore. They were throwing it away. Yeah. They're grabbing it, melting it down, and look, it's got new life now. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, Chelsea, our owner, and Teresa, our jeweler, they're really passionate about um, keeping our jewelry, you know, sustainable and giving it a second life. Here's what I learned. You keep it local and you keep reusing it. All right, let's go to our next sustainable fashion spot. All right, so I had plenty of water on the walkover, but Brian, you gotta tell me, how is my water bottle in that bag? We take your bottle, yeah, which we're gonna wean you off of eventually so that we can uh, not use plastic to start with. But that being said, we take your bottle. Yeah, uh, here, gets... we'll get it away. I'll get it away. <laughs> Not gonna think about it. It's it's chopped up essentially, and then it's extruded into uh, new yarns. Plastic is a very durable and long-lasting material. So making bags out of polyester is actually an amazing way to give that bottle a new life. Um, the bag, I mean, you'll be surprised Great. by how it feels. It doesn't feel like a plastic bottle. Um, it's super durable and it'll it'll last for many, many years. And Sturdy. Otherwise, it would have gone into a landfill or worse yet, it might have gone into the ocean. Yeah, and you've cleaned up the ocean before with a bag like that right there on your side. Yeah, I mean, all of these bags, this is a good example because essentially, we work, our mission is to pick up a pound of trash for every product that we sell. So everything here supports our mission. So cool. Um, and thank you. And then, and then we work with partners, like this is a Corona beer. Uh, we, we did cleanups with them in Miami. We took that trash from the cleanup and we recycled it into bags that are now being sold by both us and them. But the essence of all of our, all of our products is that it's all supporting whether or not it's made from recycled polyester or natural fibers like hemp or let's organic cotton. That. Yeah. I need it, to up my fashion game. Clearly, you see how <laughs> I'm dressed. So let's do that with this right here. Tell me how this is made from plants. So hemp is an amazing material uh, and it's a a plant that requires far less water to grow than traditional uh, things like cotton. It also uh, is just, it grows so efficiently and, and sustainably that you can actually grow hemp in so many different places. For many years it was restricted because of the, the association. However, hemp itself as a fiber is super durable and sustainability and durability are actually one and the same. Because if you have something that you make and you wear a few times, and then you have to throw it away. Even if you made that with sustainable materials, is that sustainable? Whereas if you make something with sustainable materials that also lasts a long time, that's, that's the trifecta of sustainability. Drew, thank you so much for the awesome shopping tips. I'm definitely gonna use a couple of those myself. Mike, 